All right, update for June 13th, Friday the 13th. Now, here is bore scoping the number three cylinder. Oh, look at that. Seeing what's going on with the somewhat low compression. Yeah. goes yeah oh that over on the side there yeah. mm -hmm. so this one's got a little bit of a hot spot on the side uh -huh. mm -hmm. that looks good so, a little bit of a ridge at the top where the ring stops Hmm. So you can see right where the piston ring stops, so there's just yeah. a little bit of a ridge developing. Oh, yeah, this thing here? Mm -hmm. Well, yeah, the piston ring stops right here, that like black line. Okay. So a little bit of wear in the cylinder. Hmm. The valve seat doesn't look terrible though. A little bit over here. It's not very good. You can see yeah. a lot of like wisp. Oh yeah. It's not very uh, clean and shiny. It's not seating very good right there. Oh, okay. You think that's where the why the compression is bad? Mm-hmm. Yep. So how do you fix that? Possibly lap the valve uh -huh. or could see if the valve guide's getting worn bad because that could be causing it to not seat properly too. Mm. So. So, piston. Not too much carbon built up on that. Alrighty. Well, there's that one. Okay. I would have thought low compression because there's this big hole here. Oh wait, that's where the spark plug goes. Never mind. See, that's why I pay these guys to do that. And here's the other one. And by coincidence, it's also number three. Mm -hmm. What we do without iPhones. Hmm. Is that little discoloration There's a little there. bit on that one, too. That's a hot spot, like? Mm-hmm. Yeah, so over here. Because you want it to be symmetrical all the way yeah. around. Ideally, anyway. So, yeah, you can see it's not seating very good over here. Yeah. So is that another case of just lapping should take care of it? Possibly, possibly. we can give it a shot and see. You can see here, it's not really shiny there either to yeah. where the valve's not seating the greatest. Hmm. Let's see what the board looks like. Yeah, this one doesn't have quite a big of a ridge on it at the top. You know, this is the exhaust valve again? No, the cylinder. The cylinder. So you can see where oh. the piston ring stops, so a lot of times oh, I, you'll get a ridge there. I see. So. And that's all the little crud, the carbon that yeah, lead, collects? Lead, lead and carbon buildup. So mm. A little bit of oil in the bottom. Mm -hmm. Oh yeah. There's Why would that be there? Because it's a inboards, because of the taper slant of the engine. Oh, okay. These one, the inner cylinders usually have a little more oil in them, hmm. which is why they're more prone to falling, as well. Yeah. So, not 
too bad, but definitely not great. Mm -hmm. A little bit of pitting in the cylinder wall. So they're also concerned that uh, the valve guides might be a little bit worn, which is causing the valve to wobble and not seat properly. They're going to check that. But, uh, you know, people are asking what some all this stuff does. This is the overboost valve. There's a little spring there. If the uh, turbocharger puts out too much pressure, it's supposed to relieve it so it doesn't damage things. And the, uh, the controller, yeah, the oil controller is down there. Oh, here's the fire bottle again. And, you know, I mentioned that the big hose goes up front here. Somebody said, well, a lot of times you get your fire in the back. Well, uh, looking at this a little carefully, there's a little hose that comes off the fire bottle right here. This little hose comes off and goes back here. I guess they don't think it's going to be too much going on back here. But interesting, the temperature probe uh, for the engine fire is here. And uh, there's also uh, another one I found. Let's go back here. Um... So here's the controller down here for the turbocharger and that uh, regulates the oil supply that opens the wastegate valve and um, uh, where was that other fire sensor so much stuff in here I saw it a minute ago oh there's one here there's one there there might be three of them then let's see because I thought I'd seen a third one I didn't see any up front here though which is kind of interesting but, uh, you know, things are going slow, and, you know, you got a lot of airplanes, and unfortunately not a whole bunch of mechanics. It's a good shop, and that's why it's very busy. And, uh, you know, they, uh, they don't do the job the quickest, but they do it right. So that's the thing, and that's more important. So let's see, that was the one I pointed out before. I thought I'd seen another one here. Nah, maybe not. There's just so much stuff here. It's amazing. But anyway, the, uh, oh, these are the uh, AUX tanks, uh, wing locker tanks, and they put them, of course, behind the hotspot. But uh, got the new uh, firewalls in here, and these are kind of interesting. Um, these little devices, like anything on an airplane, is expensive. Um, and here they are. These are 500 bucks each. They're, uh, fairly heavy actually and these will go uh, in that little slot there they're kind of a impregnated mesh of some sort um, that are supposed to you know shield but anyway that's that part and once they get that in then 20 million screws oh, that's a cowling the uh, that goes over the engine but the the part back here somewhere they got all these screws to put in and then that can go uh, back together so, that is the progress. I'm going to be out of touch here in uh, just about a week here, a little bit. So I won't have, uh, unfortunately, too many updates. Won't be in the area. Uh, but uh, hopefully uh, they'll make some progress uh, on this. And it sounds like the, uh, the deal with the uh, compressions may not be terribly expensive. Uh, hopefully we'll find out. But that's kind of where it's uh, going on now. Uh, you would think there was an airport nearby. And I also have a um, comment from uh, some of my viewers about uh, some of Mike Bush's books. And I want to, I'll mention that in just a second. I'll show you that. But here, I want to show you the worst case of an engine, losing an engine I've ever seen. Okay, uh, look at it here. This is the worst case. I mean, you come out here to pre-flight the airplane, and, whoo, no engine. Okay, I know, a little bit of dad-type humor here. But anyway, as you can see, this is a busy place. So, hey, I'll, now I'll, I'll talk about uh, Mike's books here in just a second. 
right. And I had somebody say, hey, do you happen to have Mike Bush's books, by the way? And I do. I've got two of them here. Now, the interesting thing is Mike has a Turbo 310R just like mine. So, hey, the way Mike operates his airplane and the way I operate my airplane, they can be a lot alike. I kind of follow Mike. And uh, this is the airplane ownership. I actually got a... Uh, Nice little autograph from Mike, because I uh, met him up at uh, Oshkosh, and uh, that was cool. We talked about Lena Peak and stuff like that. That's, uh, you know, one of his big things. So, uh, and somebody also said, I haven't seen you wearing your bling lately. Well, there is some, okay? Uh, the reason I haven't, the reason you may not have seen it is I simply haven't worn it a bit. And some of the videos I'm doing, uh, as you know, this is the Great Lakes. This is going to go in for uh, maintenance here shortly, too. Uh, may fly to a, um, a pancake breakfast tomorrow, depending on if I can convince the wife that uh, kind of cold pancakes is actually worth, uh, uh, worth the trip. Yeah, you know how that works. But uh, anyway... Um, uh, so here's a little more bling. That's where I'm, I'm digressing on my subject here. That's uh, so you got it for those viewer, viewers who are saying, but like I said, I've been doing some of the um, uh, videos, uh, redoing them because a lot of people haven't seen the old videos. So, um, and I had not yet actually established the bling, which is kind of interesting. So, um, it'll be interesting to see when that starts cropping up on the old videos as I, um, recycle them here and it's kind of funny um a lot of people are seeing them from the new time for the first time and um it's kind of fun with the comments so enjoying it so that is the update on the 310 it's going slowly but um it often goes slowly so that's unfortunate uh one of the issues you know with mechanics um uh, there's a shortage and there's a lot of business and so hey that's the way it is uh it takes a while to do it right but do it right. Hey, thanks for watching.